Hello from Halifax. This is Jo with Jo to the World Creations, and today we're going to learn how to make a magic circle in crochet, which is also known as a magic ring. To start, we're going to take the end of the yarn and put the tail over our two fingers, leaving about an eight inch long tail so that you have enough to weave in your ends after you're finished. So that's in front of you and you just drape the yarn and the other end is attached to the skein over your two fingers. I'm gonna use my thumb to hold that strand in place. Now I'm gonna bring the yarn that's attached to my skein underneath my two fingers and wrap it around my two fingers to form an X. Now I'm gonna use my ring finger to hold that X in place. Now you get your hook and we're gonna go under the top right part of the X and we're going to hook the top left part of the X and bring it under. So we're gonna go under the top part of the X, the top right part of the X and hook the top left part of the X and bring it under. Now we're gonna rotate our hook towards us to form a loop. Now we're going to use our hook to go back and grab this top left part of the X and bring that yarn through the loop on our hook. Rotate your hook up and now we have a magic circle. I like to take the tail and just bring it out of the magic circle so it's on the outside parallel to the circle. A quick note that this knot does not count as a chain so if your pattern says to make any number of chains before working into the magic circle you would not count this. So if it says to chain one for example I would chain one and now I've made one chain. We don't count that knot. Now you can work directly into the magic circle. For example, if you're gonna make a single crochet stitch, you just put your hook right into the magic circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull the yarn through those two loops. You can also make double crochet stitches into the magic circle. You can make any type of stitch into the magic circle and it's okay if the tail gets twisted inside of it. I just like to pull it out to keep it on the outside and parallel to the circle. Once you have your number of stitches that you need to make into the magic circle completed, you're going to use the tail and you're going to pull the tail, not the end that's attached to this skein of yarn, you're going to pull the tail to close the magic circle and you're going to pull it really tight. So you just pull on this tail and the magic circle will close. If the pattern asks you to slip stitch into the first stitch made, you would work into the top of that first stitch to slip stitch to join. And that's how to make a magic circle.